The AFC gonna be on top. First off. Patriots gonna be on top. Bills is not beating us. The Dolphins not beating us. So who will beat us? Yo, sup, swag gang. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lara. A.K.A. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man. This is Matt Jones is training with a legend, Tom House. Now, who the hell is Tom House? I never heard of him before. I don't know who this dude is, man. They said that he's training with him, man. They say he's going to go crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know who he is, man. But I know Matt Jones is like that at the end of the day. So this will be a good, interesting video. Let's check it out. Shout out to all things Patriots. Let's get it. No secret that Matt Jones has been working with Tom House this offseason. He's Ooh. known as the father of modern pitching in baseball and a professor of throwing across multiple different sports. Okay. He's worked with many elite quarterbacks, including Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Dak Prescott, and Justin Herbert, and now most recently, Matt Jones, this previous offer. Damn! This is a pretty big deal. Uh, this is a very good thing, and he's going to basically micromanage every single little part of Matt Jones' mechanics. I never, ever heard of Tom House. His potential, or at least help him to do that. So we can expect huge improvements. I'm going to look him up on IG. This season. Uh, I'm super excited about this again. This is a guy that's worked with Tom Brady because that's obviously his I'm going to look him up on IG real quick, bro. He said Tom House, you guys. Tom House. I never, ever heard of Tom House before in my whole entire. Okay. Tom House. Basically, uh, he coached kids for all ages to be their own goat. Um, that's his bi that's his bio, and then uh, yeah, Matt Jones follow him. So yeah, he's um, basically based in California. Hmm. You know, but hey, and I guess he posts a bunch of quotes as well like that. He got like nine thousand followers, almost at ten k. Hey, not that bad. Okay, Tom House. I like it. But yeah, man, let's get into it. It's crazy though. I never heard of him before in my whole, my, in my whole entire life. Never heard of Tom House before. Hey, if he gonna help Matt Jones get better, I like it. Now I'm gonna run a clip. I, I don't know where this actually comes from. I think Tom House himself posted this to some sort of social media. But this is some clips of him working with Matt Jones. I want you guys to pay attention to a couple of things. Notice okay. The detail of which he's actually managing his mechanics to every little tiny detail. Just to maximize that that motion and utilize all of the energy towards getting the ball as far and as quickly as possible. My hands are always ashy. Crazy. Another thing to think about is look at how good of shape Mac Jones looks to be in versus last season. Let me know what you guys think of that as well. Uh, yeah. I'll be talking again in the video after this clip, by the way. So here is that clip. Bro, you got to hear, like, look, to me, it's like, this dude, bro, I don't know, bro. I'm still kind of, still kind of confused. So, he's a baseball player. I didn't see no football pictures of him, uh, all things Patriots. I didn't see no football pictures. So, you telling me this old man running, you know, training Matt Jones and that Prescott and Tom Brady. I mean, at the end of the day, he doing something right because Tom Brady a GOAT, so. He doing something right, bro. But this right here with Matt Jones, bro, hey. Maybe I maybe gotta, you know, show me some. Show me how to throw the ball, bro. He said that thing came out way faster. Okay. This is just a really cool clip for me to watch. 
watch overall. I love yeah. seeing the progression of just the micromanaging, like I've been saying multiple times, and just the the just level. Of hey, Tom House, man, make my boy Mark better, bro. Mac Jones understands every single little part of the mechanic. I think we can expect big time improvement. And by the way, did you notice that he just looks in so much better shape? Um, yeah. I've heard a lot about that. That he's really focused on working out and dieting. And he do. Overall, just everything looks to be improving. He do. Jones, and I couldn't be more excited, honestly. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm not going to lie, bro. We're going to be on top, bro. AFC, bro. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to be on top. Um, Dolphins, I'm not really worried about them too much, about Tyree Hill and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like we're going to be good. We're going to be straight. I feel like I feel, I feel like it's going to be a nice game. Nice, good, uh, intense game. Um, with the Patriots and the Dolphins playing, um, it's going to be a nice game. Like I said, this is going to be my prediction as well. I'm going to keep giving y'all the prediction to the Dolphins game, especially to you, you you new subscribers or whatever that, you know, subscribing to me. Y'all Bills fans, Patriots fans and stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you this right now. You guys ain't winning. Ain't no hate. It's no hate. It's no hate. It's no hate. But I will tell you this. Y'all not better than us. The Dolphins is going to lose twice to us. Like I said, the only reason why y'all won last year because of Damon Harris. Shout out to K Swag Plugs. You have not been grinding, my boy. You have not been grinding and posting. But K Swag Plugs posted it and posted it basically like a meme, to be honest. And I said I want Damon Harris to be released. And I and, and I was serious too. Because he the reason why we lost the game, bro. He the reason why we lost the game. Now, the Bills, on the other hand. You guys, we gonna have there's gonna be some competition. It's it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Don't get me wrong. It's gonna be hard. It ain't gonna be no easy game. But we will come up. We will come on top. Now, like I said, the Dolphins and the Patriots gonna be like a nice 31 to 24 tight game. Maybe 31 to 17. Um, cause all we really have to do is stop Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. We stop them and we bring so much pressure on Tua. Tua is gonna throw away the game. So it really might be 31 to like 17 or maybe 30 to like 17 or something like that, bro. Because if we really bring that pressure on to it, bro, we going to beat y'all. Like, fins down. We going to beat y'all. It's no hate. We going to beat y'all, though. At the end of the day, we going to beat y'all. We going to embarrass y'all. I'm sorry, but that's what's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> and now we got the Bills. The Bills. The Bills. It's going to be a little hard. It's going to be close. It's going to be a um, high-scoring game, maybe like 38 to 36 or something like that, bro. It's going to be real high-scoring. But look, man, I love you guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video.